in the background, you can see B12 vitamin molecule, which is a part of an exhibition entitled Molecules That Change the World, which we prepared the scientists of a Center for Functional Nanostructures together with uh, ZKM. And we were inspired by International Year of Chemistry, and this exhibition was created also as a part of Molecular Aesthetics Symposium. When we actually thought about the exhibition, our primary goal was to make chemistry a little bit more approachable. That means interesting also for scientists and non-scientists equally. And that's why we have chosen 25 molecules that we thought changed the world and the civilization as we know it. And sometimes it's really wonderful from a chemist's point of view to see that some of the molecules which are incredibly important and which revolutionize the life of the people are very, very simple. And we try to put together the molecules that have a simple structures but are powerful, but also the molecules that have a more complex structures, just to show how diverse and interesting the chemistry can be. Liliana and I, we were discussing about a possible presentation form, so it was clear that um, the visitors should learn something about the history of uh, molecules in an intelligent way. So that was at a time when we just finished the 3D festival, so a festival about stereoscopic vision. And it appeared to me uh, very appealing that uh, seeing 3D molecules uh, in front of you, it is something which is related to you, which is related to your body and therefore uh, has more relevance to you than uh, just text or 2D uh, images on a monitor. Pressing a button changes the molecule. It has a motion by itself, so it rotates very slowly, continuously, so that you get a better 3D uh, impression. And if you want, you can rotate a button, and by that, rotate the whole molecule around one axis. So the usage, therefore, is very uh, easy. Everybody can understand it. In the installation, the user can switch between two layers of representation. Uh, the first layer is a uh, very, let's say, haptic layer, and the other layer is an uh, analytical layer. So you can change uh, between uh, different kinds of uh, understanding. The installation itself had been realized uh, with a software which uh, I developed over years here at the ZKM. And it's a plug-in system, that means if the software doesn't allow you to do something which you would like to do, you can uh, implement it and plug it in, so you can extend the software. And the uh, installation, of course, also needed some extensions to make it real. For example, the molecule descri uh, description is a very abstract description. Um, which is behind it, and uh, I was building the 3D representation out of that. So the description was just uh, locations of atoms, but how that actually looks in 3D, I had to develop that. So besides B12 vitamin, of course, we have chosen a range of different molecules. So we have industrially important molecules that revolutionize industry, we, such as polymers or sulfuric acid. We have some drugs like penicillin or aspirin. One of the molecules that we also chose as a molecule that has changed the world is not maybe a usual choice. It is a DNA. And we have not chosen the biological molecules per se in this exhibition, but DNA is not only a genetic code carrier, it's also a very important element for the design of new nanostructures. So as a part of a DNA information set, we have chosen the informations of, in general, what a DNA is. Then we have chosen also, for example, a little bit of a history of a DNA so that people know that this is actually a long development that actually the structure and the function is discovered. And then without going too deep into the genetics, we go into the building of a new nanostructures to show many molecules in the chemistry do have several functions and DNA is exactly one of such molecules. The feedback um, that we got from our audience was really positive and we actually saw that both the scientists were delighted because they could learn some interesting facts about the molecules that they maybe use in the everyday life 
But we also got a wonderful feedback from the non-expert audience, which was totally uh, delighted to learn something about the molecules that they are using uh, maybe in an everyday life. 